This video is meant for true wrestling fans. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to go back, way back, back into time, and tell what this faction is of TNA and how it's being considered a ripoff of the NWO. So when your company is being taken over by a faction that is this big and this large, it's always compared to the NWO. So with that being said, the NWO did it the same way. Just because they were the first to do it doesn't mean that it can't happen again. Why did Chevrolet get invented? Why did Dodge get invented? Just because Henry Ford made the first car, everybody else is after him is imitating him? I mean, everybody knows that it's a play of the NWO. It's not a ripoff. It's just they were the first to do it. And it's proof enough that you're all watching wrestling to know that it's, in your eyes, a ripoff of the NWO. So with that being said, you can't really say that it's a ripoff of them because it's a whole different faction. It's even set up a different way. It's not about the glamour and the glitz and the stars aren't a caliber of the Hogan's and the Scott Hall's and the Kevin Nash's because the stars are mid cards that's got pushed up to the main event but how better to start young talent and get them noticed in a faction that is up and coming Aces and Eights isn't going to be around forever you can already tell it it's already dismantling in front of us and it all revolves around AJ Styles. The whole company of TNA revolves around AJ Styles. They're only using Hogan. They're only milking Sting. That's why he's still wrestling. He loves it, obviously. But they're milking everything out of those two that they can to get TNA noticed. What better way than to have the superstar that it all revolved around in the first place, Hulk Hogan, the NWO, and the guy that fought against the NWO, Sting, and it's all being portrayed the same way, and that's why you guys say it's a ripoff, but it really all revolves around AJ Styles and the young talent, because AJ Styles is a modern day Sting. If you notice when he was talking to him, he almost got AJ to shake his hand and talk to him till Kurt Angle interrupted him. Sting sees something in AJ Styles and he sees something in that company. He doesn't have to do this. He could be sitting at the house, but he does it. And, and Hogan, he may need the money, but he's promoting it. But it all revolves around AJ Styles. That's why they wanted him in this group. That's why he is the faction, he is the savior of TNA in this dark day. It's like Sting was in WCW. I never thought I would see Sting fight Hogan because I know Sting was true to WCW. Even when it was back in 1988 at Clash of Champions, he made his debut with Ric Flair and he stayed with the company the whole time. He never left. And it was about 13 years altogether, so give three more years to AJ Styles and he'll dismantle the Aces and Eights and it'll be just like it was. It's being ran like WCW, which is a good thing because WCW shouldn't have got shut down. The only reason it got shut down is because of Vince Russo. Eric Bischoff tried his best, but... It got shut down because of Vince Russo and Vince's money, and he bought his competition. But I don't think it's going to happen this time. Because when they tried to get AJ Styles in that group, he totally dismantled it. 
And he says, I mean, he's showing that he's standing alone like Sting used to in the rafters. And you guys have to honestly be wrestling fans to know that this stuff even happened. But AJ Styles is a phenomenal wrestler. That's why they call him the phenomenal AJ Styles. He's Mr. TNA. And you think Kurt Angle would be there and be wrestling if he didn't like the company? You think you think Christian or anybody would have came there? I'm sure they're going to go to where, they're, where they can work. But at the same time, they're not going to stay there and put up with all the crap and not get what they're wanting out of it. I mean, sure, it's a better schedule. It's, it's not as demanding as WWE. But that that's to get the old guys to come so they can build the new talent. And it starts with AJ Styles because he is in his prime right now. AJ's got about five or six more years left in him to get people built up. And the, the Aces and Eights is just there to, to profile the Garrett Bischoffs and, and the Wes Briscoes and the Mike Knox that didn't get a chance in WWE, and the the Docs. I mean, they're, they're, even CM Punk said they got did wrong. So if he thinks that they got did wrong for, for busting their ass, then what makes you think that it's not going to work in TNA? If you guys haven't noticed, the crowds are getting bigger. And I say 30%, it goes up 32 points. It means the world to them. They'll take anything they can get right now. They've only been on the air for 11 years. So give it 11 more years and see if we're not talking about this or if we're not talking about how they overcame everything that they were supposed to not overcome. And they made it. And it all relies on AJ Styles. AJ Styles is the sting of the modern era. The only thing different is his face paint isn't there. So give it 11 more years and then come back and talk to me. But AJ Styles will take TNA to the next level. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember we all have a video camera, we all have internet, and we all have an opinion.